Good morning, lovelies. So welcome back. I'm Lou, and this is a series of videos that take you through guided meditation with essential oils to get you started in your practice because it can often be a challenge to set aside time for ourselves. And guided meditation, I find, helps us get into a routine of doing it, and then we can kind of lengthen the time where we have no talking. Um, but sometimes delving straight into that can be overwhelming. And it's not about the time limit or the length of time that we're sitting, but really more about consistency and about making a conscientious effort every day to even just have two or three minutes where you can have quiet. So I want you to make sure that wherever you are today, the phones are switched off, that you're not gonna be disturbed for the next, you know, five to 10 minutes, that you can just kind of close yourself off morning meditation is kind of the easiest just because when we wake up our minds are not so busy and so full of thoughts and ideas but consistency is key so if you find time on your lunch break or after work or before bed at night whatever works for you and the same going with we talked yesterday um, or in the previous episode about how to sit where to sit and that's totally up to you. Again, if you are on your lunch break and you can find a quiet spot and a chair so you can just ground your feet and take a little bit of quiet, then that's great. Or if it's first thing in the morning, you're waking up in bed, you wanna prop yourself up with cushions, that's good too. Um, it's just important that you have some time for you. So the oil that I'm inviting you guys to use today is Breathe, also known as Easy Air. But again, as you practice this more and you become more intuitive with your oils, you're going to find which oils you want on any given day. And so this is my offering to you guys today. Um, but again, if you want to use another oil, that's fine. So you're going to place a couple of drops into the palm of your hand. Rub the palms together. Cup the nose. And you're going to take about three or four deep breaths. Last one. And then I find with the breathe oil, especially because it really opens up our airways and it also, because of the peppermint in there, I find that it helps me to be very present and focused. I like to actually place it on my neck and my chest to just continue to open up the airways. But we're also working on here, um, our throat chakra and our heart chakra. And so the peppermint in our breathe oil, peppermint is very good for helping us find our voice, especially on things where maybe we're struggling to communicate um, or perhaps you have uh, a speech that you need to give in front of a lot of people. Peppermint is very good for that. So once you've smelt your oils, I encourage you now to get yourself into a comfortable position and bring your attention to your breath. And then slowly close your eyes or soften your gaze to the earth. Continue to focus on your breath. Breathing in through the nose. And then letting the breath out. And if you want to take a few sighs, sighs can be really powerful, a really good way of letting go. I like to use the mantra, let go. And what I mean by that is a mantra is a repetition of words. So breathing in the word let as we invite whatever it is that we need today into our lives. And as we breathe out, breathing out the word go as we let go of anything that's not serving us. And then doing a little check in with your body. Are you able to focus on the feet, direct the breath into the feet as you allow the feet to let go? Are you carrying any tension in any parts of your body, perhaps the shoulders, allowing them to relax down away from your ears? Are you holding on to your belly? Can you soften the belly so that the breath is deeper? You find this flow of breath. Our breath is our prana. Prana is our life force. Without breath, there is no us. So allowing the breath to be deep and full. Let go and open to life. 
How we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. The breath accepts us unconditionally. It always forgives. Think about it. We ignore our breath. We treat it with total disregard. We prevent it from entering our body by holding our breath when we are stressed. We behave casually towards it, making little or no commitment. If breath was our lover, based on our regular treatment, it would likely break up with us. But our breath lovingly accepts our human imperfections and gives us another chance and another and another and a million more. There is a lesson here. When we breathe, we have another chance to try our best. We're not practicing to be perfect. We are practicing to make real, to realize the beauty of our humanity. Yoga philosophy helps us to see that we are perfectly imperfect. The more you become enamored with your breath, the more it becomes your best teacher. And then the magic happens. And then the shifts change. As the breath accepts you, you start to accept yourself. Then as you practice this advanced yoga of self-acceptance, you become more compassionate and more forgiving of others. Even when others make mistakes, you appreciate their imperfections and give them a second and a third and a fourth and so on and so on. The wider practice of yoga is not about arranging our lives so that it is perfect, easy and non-challenging. Rather, it's about using the discipline we find in our other practices of life to be able to remain easy in the midst of difficulty. That is the true measure of freedom. When we learn this, then everything we do and everything we say becomes a pose, an asana, a position of body, mind and soul, each requiring the attention that brings us into the present. And in that present moment, there is perfect presence. So bring your attention back to your breath, following the in and the out inhale and the exhale. Repeating your mantra, let go. and begin to deepen your breath. Feel the movement return back to your body. Bring the palms of your hands together, create a little energy, a little warmth. And then gently cup the eyes, opening the eyes to the back of the hands and gently peeling the hands from the face. So as I said, it's not about sitting there for an hour. Some people may get to that space where they can sit for an hour, but it's more about consistency being key. And over this period of our classes um, that we're teaching or these offerings that we're giving to you guys, um, you can just kind of pause us um, 
and then take longer at the end of our guided meditation if you're feeling like you're in a good space to do that. So thank you for joining us. Have a sweet, sweet day. Namaste.